Hello and welcome back to CS38 Racing and this is episode 8 of the World Superbike campaign, career mode. Um, so we're just looking at development. We look like we're able to increase the engine capacity. Uh, we still need a few points there. So we've got the development of the electronics, which is good. And then we've got Catalonia, Portimao, San, San Juan Villicum. I know that's pronounced wrong. Please, any Argentina fans, make sure you comment down below how to pronounce it properly. I don't want to be offending anyone by not doing that properly. Then we've got Mandalika and then Phillip Island. So that'll be the final round. So not too many episodes left of this career mode in World Superbike. Maybe start commenting about down below which team you'd like to see me sign with as we've currently, we've got no contract proposals have been received so far. So we can start negotiation with these teams. We've got a medium chance and not a very high chance of getting in at most of the factory teams. So let's see what we can do. You guys know the deal. I'll see you guys down in Super Bowl. Okay, so we're down here for the Super Bowl and we are obviously going to put in the softest tire and see what we can do. So we want to save S1 for the race and let's go a D1 front and a qualification compound on the rear and let's, oop, wrong button. Let's skip forward in time a bit to see sort of what our goal is. Okay, that's all good. Let's go out and see if we can start in the top five would be an ideal um, start here. If not, a little higher, that would also be good. Okay, come down into turn one. Make sure that we pull up into this section and get good drive into the next couple of corners. tight hairpin there. Oh, we're a little bit wide there. That's okay, we seem to ma maintain the momentum. Whoop. The rear wanted to step out there. Let's see where this first banker lap gets us. Oh, okay, we've managed to get pole then. 
Whoa. So let's see how that holds up. Okay, it did manage to get us pole, so not bad at all. Alright, we're down here for the first race. We're going to run an SC1 front and an SC0 rear. We're starting from first, and hopefully we can stay on the podium. Into power mode 3 for the start. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Well, that was a little bit of an unsettled first sector there. Oh, top rack's back up on the inside. But we're able to cut back coming into that next, or coming out of that next corner. Whoa! That was very wide there. Whoa! We tried to make a move. There was definitely not a move on. Got enough to get past the BMW. Oh, we're out wide. But it seems to be okay because that seems to be the line the AI are taking. Well, not that, that's way too deep. Whoa. Getting caught on that curb on the inside there. Oh, we're wide. Click it up into power mode three. Okay, so... Whoa. That rear stepping out into that corner is what's 
losing us quite a lot of time and running deep into this corner also. Oh, we're running wide. Oh, we're too wide again. Toprak's making a move through there on Ray. And Bautista is out ahead. If that rear could stop sliding out. It would make our life a heck of a lot easier. Let's go into a bit of power mode 2 here. Jonathan Ray seemed to hit uh, the curb and Bautista seemingly had a moment coming out of the corner. Oh, we're wide there. Take it cautiously into there. Okay, so that was pretty good, making our way through to second, not bad, not bad at all. Pretty good race there though. So that puts us currently second in the round, so that was pretty good. Let's hope we can continue this um, progress in the next race. Okay, so we're down here for the Super Pole race, that means the softest tires need to be put on. 
which I'm going to go for a D1 front and a qualification compound rear. And let's see what we can do. Keep that power mode 3 for the start. did not seem to want to turn then. limits warning but what can you do you don't want to go wide So let's see if we can chase down Bautista here. We managed to pull off a move around the outside there. That was pretty impressive. the track limits warning. deep there. Put it into power mode 3. 
to ensure we can get some power here. To at least catch up to Bautista. I don't think we're going to catch Bautista here, but anyway, another second for the weekend. Not bad at all. Okay, so we're down here on the grid for the third, well, third race of the weekend, second race, so to speak. So, we're starting from second. We're going to put an SC1 front on and a soft compound rear and let's see how we can go hopefully we can get to the top step of the podium that is the ultimate goal here okay power mode three off the line Why is Jonathan Ray waving already? Okay, that was not the start we wanted to have. Whoa. Bautista got a little bit muffled out of that last corner which balked Lekawona and brought us back to the fight with Top Rack. Whoa! Okay, so we're down here on the we're down here on the grid for race two. We're running an SC one front and an SC zero rear. So hopefully we can get to that top step of the podium finally. Put it in power mode three for the start. So we dropped a position there to Vieje.
Oh, we're wired there. That made a big mistake. able to make a pretty good move through there on Alex Lowe, ah uh, not Lowe's, um, Rin, uh, Rin's my words, Jonathan Ray out of the last quarter and managed to slipstream Lowe's down the straight. Oh, we're a little bit wide there. We've been able to get onto the back of the air, hey? Now we've got to see if we can catch up to Top Rack and Bautista. If we're to make any progress in this race. Oh, we're wide. Looks like Bautista had a wide moment as well by hitting the curb. We're stuck on the outside though. Ugh. Okay, so we're down here for race two. We're running an SC1 front and an SC0 rear. Let's see if we can get onto that elusive top step of the podium this this race weekend. Okay, off the line we go. Okay, the bike was definitely not pulling up there. Okay. Oh, we hit that curb and it just makes us sit up and lose a lot of time. The Bautista seems to make a similar mistake there on the last corner. Well, if my rear...
put up to power mode 2. And see if this power mode 2 can give us a little bit more oomph. Bautista made that mistake again. Bautista tried to look up the inside of top rack there. Let's go back up to power mode 2. Our top rack made the mistake on the curb there. And we just got stuck behind him. Now we need to see if we can catch back up to Bautista because we lost a bit of time getting stuck on the rear tyre of Top Rack. So maybe let's put in some power mode 2. Oh, we're wired there. As we had top rack right on our rear tire. Oh, we're in too hot there. Oh, we're wide. But we managed to hold it. Let's put some power mode 3 for this final lap. Unfortunately, it 
Looks like Bautista might have the winnie here. Unfortunately, we can't seem to catch him. Did make a mistake, but not enough for us to get the win. Three seconds in a row. Not a bad result, though. So Alvaro Bautista ended up taking the round by one point. Just one point. All right. So that puts us fourth in the championship. We're still 62 points behind, so it's not going to be likely that we can win the championship, but it's not bad for the first season. Alright, so thank you guys for watching another episode. You know what to do. Hit that like button, put a comment down below, hit that subscribe button. You know what to do. Alright. Stay safe. See you.